毎日はあ水食わへん
Starting in the far west corner, one moves north thrice, take one step south, but not before taking two steps east. Continue towards the eastern wall and head towards the end of it all. Interesting. I wonder, um, I'll, I'll just give a battle a little, a little bit. <laughs> I'll wait for him to, uh, a proper, proper check. Ooh. I wonder what- Shinri, this is battle over. What do you see in the room? Uh, lots of things. I'm in the, uh, poorly furnished library of sorts. Copy that over. I found a walkie-talkie. I picked it. Oh, wait. How was I talking before? I I don't know. How, how were you talking before? Oh, wait. Hold up. We, we, we got to do our intro. We forgot to do our intro. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh... Uh, I am Josuiji Shinri, Ronin of Guild Tempest from Hollow Stars English. It's good to meet you all. Metal, would you like to? I am Gavis Metal. And everything's falling apart, and it's nice to, to, to see you, Shinri. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, it's good to see you. <laughs> no issues on my end. Everything is going so smooth. All right. <laughs> okay, so I am here in a two story room with multiple objects of interest, and I'm not really sure which one to start off with. All right, so I want to describe a couple of things and let me know if any of them appear to relate to something inside your room. All right. Okay. Okay. So the very first thing that I have like sticking out is a book that says "Between the Eyes in Blood." Do you have anything in your room or within your vision that would suggest between the eyes? Yes. Nice. What do you see? Eyes. Like on the wall, not on me. <laughs> okay. If you could see your own eyes, I would be very concerned. Um, the logistics of that would be very difficult to explain, but. Uh, I also see a poster on my wall here with like two columns of eyes and then columns of random like characters in between them. I got those two. Nice. Do you, can you tell me the colors, the, the full range of colors? Mine are green, blue, and red and nothing else. It's just those three colors of eyes and the symbols are just a chaotic mess. Uh, I'm currently looking at uh, red and blue eyes and then in the middle is it like... Uh... Uh, symbols. Okay, okay. Uh, can you describe a few of those symbols? I just want to make sure that we're looking at the same ones. Um, this is gonna be fun, chat. Uh, we got like a playground slide. Okay, okay. You see that one? Yeah, I, I see. Well, I see two that could fit potentially fit that. I keep cutting them off. It, it's okay. uh, an M? We got an M. Um, we got a trident. Nice. Okay, yeah. So I roughly have those same symbols too. I'm, okay. I'm not sure... Uh, they seem to almost correspond... Okay, so the way that I'm looking at it, there's four columns on the outer columns are colored eyes and then in the center two columns are the symbols um i'm wondering if like the colors of the eyes like correspond to the symbols that are between them i'm not sure what configuration your symbols are like so like on the far left there's two symbols there's like um there's like a uh there's like a big z, uh, a z but it's kind of like diagonal and then above it it's like a circle with like uh a, a bunch of sticks it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long hour but it's okay i i believe in us we got the <laughs> oh sorry i cut you off over it's okay over 
Okay, uh, give me a moment. I want to see. Uh, so it looks like we have similar symbols in the eyes. Uh, let's focus on that. Let me look around real quick in my area and see if we can find something that gives us a clue on how to read these symbols. Over. Copy that. Over. Me. I'll do this. I'll do. I'll do the same. <laughs> Oh, bless his heart. Bless his heart. All right. Starting in the far west, take two steps northbound and east thrice. Twice. Twice. Yeah. Then after moving north two times. Okay, here's the thing, chat, though. So we have these two, almost three books, right? That have just a message inside them, right? These symbols we don't see. That's the thing. Like, we haven't seen these particular symbols um, line up with these, so they. I'm, I'm getting nothing over here. Over. Uh, believe in you, champ. Over. So what I'm guessing thank is. You, thank you, Dad. So what? Oh, oh, uh, on the wall. Uh, uh, there's there, written in blood. Uh, the answer. The answer is a lie. The answer lies. It, uh, uh, like lies, as in like. It is laying down or lies as in it is like telling untruths over. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure those are spelt the same. It, this is true over. Wait, wait, the answer lies between the eyes. Does yours have between the eyes and blood? Oh, yeah, it does. I do have a it says between the eyes. Yes. Over. Okay, So the answer lies between the eyes. So it must be some of the symbols. Okay, so uh, Betel, let me tell you what I'm looking at, okay? One, two, three, four, okay. five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm looking at a grid of nine by four. So nine rows and four columns, all right? I don't, there's a, a mix of almost, uh, what, what is this? 18 symbols in pairs. I don't know which pairs are what. I think you need to tell me which eyes correspond to which one so I can tell you the symbols that are correlated with the two colors of eyes. Mine's like all scattered. Can you tell me the configuration in which they're scattered? So we have like a top row. Top row is circle with a bunch of sticks and then a trident in the middle, and then playground slide with a T in the middle. Can you tell me the, the like the overall shape of this, uh, the thing that you're looking at right now? Because I have a grid. Mine's a grid. Over. Uh, yeah, mine's like, if you put it all, uh, it's like, uh, it's like, it's like, um, <laughs> I... <laughs> I... You have th Okay, there's three, there's three of them. Three rows. Right? There's three rows. And then, and then, um, on top, in middle, and then bottom. And they're all a little off-center. Little by little. You got, you got, you got this. I believe in you. Over. Center. They're alternating, kind of. <laughs> okay, okay. I um, <clears throat> I believe, I believe you, champ. I, we we will go off of that description. <laughs> I'm really trying. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, okay. Um let, let's start with something easier. Um let's talk about colors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just just pick a color. <laughs> We got this man, don't we keep it together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pick a color. Pick one color. <laughs> Blue, purple. Okay, okay, so. 
I don't have a purple. I only have three colors of eyeballs on mine. They are blue, red, and green. I just need you to pick one so we can start from there. And then see what red, 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 red. Okay, okay, okay. We, we will start with the red. Okay, tell me, what is around the red eye? Can you see anything that seems to correlate <laughs> with the red? Let me tell you what I am seeing on my side. I have a red eye, and then in a row with another red eye is a symbol of a circle with an X through it and then a check mark. And these two are horizontally aligned and paired up. Yeah, I don't have that one, boss. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. What do you have? <laughs> Uh, I got a circle with a bunch of sticks and a circle with an X. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, where, where are they? Like in relation to the red eye that you mentioned earlier. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> uh, well, the one with the circle with a bunch of sticks. It's like okay, it's like a bunch of sticks. It's like a, an X with a one going something through the middle of the X, right? Okay, yes, I, I've identified the same symbol that you're looking at do you want to press it uh wait you can press it yeah i can touch them <laughs> wait, <didn't> you... <laughs> I, thought, yeah, I was common knowledge sorry no because i'm looking at a poster like these are just static images i can't interact with these pictures okay okay Joey, you went here hit it just hit it like let's see what happens in order What? It's glowing! Are, are you okay? It's glowing, it's glowing. Give me another one, give me another one. Uh, hit the, the M without the crosses. <laughs> Shit. Okay, um, I'm sorry that happened to you, but what? Can you describe what happened that would cause you to say say shit? Uh, I I tried pressing the M and then it went. Bleh! Oh. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I. <laughs> okay. 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 So. I wonder. Can you? Okay. So like, is are the eyeballs in any kind of an order? Like, are they like? arranged in a particular geometric pattern, in a line, in a zigzag, a circle. Can you tell me, describe to me what those are? Okay, so they're pillars and they're up, they're up. They're on, the eyes are like on pillars and between the eyes is all the symbols. And I see all my symbols and I can press them on bricks. I can press them like on, they're bricks. Okay, bricks. Okay, let, let's try, let's try that uh, the same pattern again. Can you go ahead and hit this uh, the circle with the sticks? All right, it's selected. All it's right. good. All right, cool. Now I want you to hit any other symbol. Just tell me what it is before you push it, and then except for the M, um, just any other symbol. Over. Okay, I'm going to select um, the playground slide with the T in the middle. Okay. And I'm now. Okay, it screamed at me. It was wrong. Okay, give me just a moment. Okay, so chat. Metal hit this one. He tried to hit the this one here, which is wrong, right? And, oh, and, and the eyes are red and blue. The eye, the eyes are red and blue. Yeah. Red and blue. Um, okay, I'm going. I have two pairs of eyes here that are both red and blue. I don't know which direction they go, whether from left to right or right to left. Okay, so I'm going to give you both of them. Okay, the first one is a check mark without the squiggles on the ends. The second symbol is a circle with an X through it. It is missing the center stick. It is just the X. It's not uh, all three. Okay, I got that one. All right, did you get the other one too? The first one, the check mark? Check mark. And then 
The circle with the X. Over. I got that one. Are they both glowing? No error message yet? Wait, what does your check mark look like? <laughs> it looks like a check mark, but then like if you mirrored it, so like the top bit also has like a little a, like a little flick downwards. Shinri, a, a door opened. Nice. All right, all right. Um, go through it. I believe in you. Uh, okay. Ooh, this is pretty. Over. Okay, I, this thing's gonna explode. This is, okay, so I'm in a room. Uh, there's a picture of a duck. Uh, and I got a bunch of symbols on the wall. You're gonna have to be a bit more specific with a duck because these are some some wild ducks. These are crazy ducks, like. Okay, it's 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 more like a, a heron, and it's got two faces, and it has a snail shell, and it's got a beak on the back of its head, and it's got pointed beak with a thing coming off its head. Heron, two heads, snail shell, pointed beak on the back. Uh, which way is the top feather pointing? It's pointing uh, uh, towards its beak, like off to the off forward. You said it has two beaks. The pointed, the pointed beak, the one that. I don't know which way the pointed beak is pointing. Okay, wait. You know what? I think I found the two that you're talking about. Um, can you describe the feet? Are they webbed? Bird feet, two toes on each feet. <laughs> Okay, okay, I think I found the right one. Um, give me a moment. Do you have any symbols that are associated with that entity? Uh, I need to put three symbols un in, in the slots. Uh, there's a bunch of, uh, no, there's a bunch of symbols. Okay, this is going to be very difficult. We're gonna go by these symbols one by one, okay? Okay. So I wanna do my best to describe each of the symbols and then we're gonna work our way from the first one and to the second one, all right? The first symbol that I'm looking at appears to be a... The general reference I would give you is a telephone pole with an upside down triangle attached to the top. The telephone pole has two sticks with little ends, um, almost like a serif font. And then the upside down triangle is connected in the center where all the lines are converging. I got it, I got it. Nice. The second symbol is what I would describe as a fox flower is the reference image I would give you. The head is a image of a fox, so a diamond with two triangles on the top, half of the diamond, and then on the bottom where the body would be would are little petals. So a little, uh, like a T sign, like a pus sign, but I kind of pointed downwards. <gasps> thank you for the super I got chat. It, I got thank it. you, thank you. The last one. The last one looks like a screaming house with hair. Okay, is there a particular order? There are three, there, it looks like a th house with hair. I, like it has eyes and a mouth that's screaming and it has like hair on the two corners of it at the top. Uh, oh, I got, I got a door open over. We're good. Nice, nice, over. Okay, so I'm still stuck in the same room. All right, I think we need to work on a second. Oh wait, no, there's another door that opened up here. <gasps> Ooh, okay, I'll see you there. Green, green. <laughs> There's a door that says green. I and it's, fill <laughs> it's filling up with water. Shut up, the room is filling up with water. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Green, 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 green. It's gotta be green. Blue and yellow, my green. Okay, we're good. Good, good to hear that, champ. <laughs> are, you, are you fine? Are you good? Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I'm stuck in a, ho a hole, like in a hallway. All right, uh, similar here. I'm in like a spiraling staircase. Okay. Uh, I, I think there's a button. There's a button. Did you look for a button on like a pressure plate or something that you could stand on at the same time, maybe? A button with a pressure plate, okay. Uh, give me a moment, let me go check. So 
I'm going to wander through here and just describe what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like a, it's like a stairwell that just rotates around and at various intervals I see like suits of armor that are just standing there. And at the base or the bottom of this I see a, wait, hold up. Don't panic. Over. Is he panicking? I don't know. What's going on over there, over? Okay, good, good, good. Continue not to panic. That's making me want to panic. Okay, uh, is the water stopped? Um, still trapped. I'm not. Di I'm not dying. I'm. I'm okay. Can you swim? I could open the door with the keys on the keyboard. It was unlocked the whole time. I... Uh. I... I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, over. I'm proud of you. Over. <laughs> uh, I found some writing on the wall. Do you want... Do you want to hear it? Uh, sure. Yeah, tell me a story. Um... Bring down the guiding light. The what? I don't know. I found I'm in a big room right now, Shinri. There's shit everywhere. Uh like like objects shit or like literal? Uh, I'm seeing suits of armor. There's a picture of a dog with a candle for a head. I also just saw a ghost. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you, are you sure it was a ghost? I think... Okay. I saw, I saw something. You saw something. Okay, I believe you, champ. Alright, so... I'm guessing we need to turn this on... somehow. Ah, <gasps> Ryo Senpai. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, thank you. Good to see you here. Uh, battle status check. I think I saw you, dude. Wait, what? I think the ghost was you. Where are you right now? T describe your position. I'm on a balcony overlooking a broken projector. I'm going to start moving in a counterclockwise circle. Shinri, I'm seeing ghosts in here, man. Is it... Is... Is the ghost also moving in a counterclockwise circle? No, it wasn't you. He was dragging himself around the floor. Go say hello to him. Maybe he knows how to get out of here. Maybe he, he... just... But I found another picture of a dog and he's slobbering everywhere. I... <laughs> I... <laughs> Thank you for the information, Betel. Um... I suggest we find a common point of reference where we can both begin to communicate uh, and, and establish a common ground of sorts. Oh, I got it over. <laughs> okay, I, I need you to just keep, keep talking to me, keep talking to me. Tell me what's going on. Okay, I'm going up some stairs. <laughs> um, no new paintings of dogs. <laughs> I've uh, there's a, d a dark dead end. <clears throat> You're doing good, champ. Keep it up. T keep keep talking. Keep talking. Um, suits of armor. I found a compass on the ground. It was like a big compass. How big was, <laughs> how big was this compass? Like huge, huge. <laughs> T tell me more about how big this compass was. Uh, biggest compass I ever, I've ever seen. This might be a maze. Thank you. I think we know where you go. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, 
I need you to. Uh, I think I know where you are. I, well, I know the area that you're in. I don't know exactly where you are. You need to describe them to me. Are there stairs? Have you been walking around stairs? I just walked up some stairs. Proud of you, champ. All right, how many stairs have you been walking up and down? Lost count. <laughs> okay. Um, can you tell? Can you get yourself to the nearest room? <laughs> uh, it seems to be all a room. Yeah. Like a lot of stairs and rooms. Yes, yes, lots of stairs, lots of rooms. I just need you to pick one room. Um, ideally, one with at least four walls and like one exit. Copy that. Uh, there's, I found a gate, it's shut, it has red gems on it. Okay, we'll, we will put a pin in that for now. Let us continue to search for a room with four walls. <laughs> uh, I'm in a room kind of with four walls. I put a lever with a green gem on it. Uh, which now has trapped me in the room. So uh, I, I guess I found a room. Boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> mm. Describe. <laughs> describe the room for me, please. Don't don't touch any more levers, but please describe the room for me. Are there objects? Are there crates, barrels, chests, uh, chairs? Like, please describe the room to me and the objects contained within it. But please don't touch anything. Over. Copy that over. The room is really big. It's got torches and chains and little gates. Um, I trap myself in the room with the green lever, but there's also another gate that has a blue gem on it that I cannot open. By by uh, by the understanding of how this works, there has to be a lever with 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 blue blue on it. And if you if you pull the blue lever, I'm guessing that the blue gate will open will open over okay okay so i found a map that depicts what appears to be a maze i don't think this is it uh remind me again what was the color of the gem that you pulled the lever on green green okay give me just a moment chat do you guys think that the colors of these books correspond to the particular like there's a lot of green books though like can you describe to me any other uh, features of the room? Can you tell me, like, are there any symbols on the walls? Um, well, there was a painting with a dog with bat wings when I, uh, across the hallway. Across? Ooh. A painting of a dog with bat wings across the hallway. Yes, sir. Uh... Dis can you, can you, are you in the position to be able to describe the dog um, in, a, in greater detail? Yes, uh, the two, uh, two seconds, allow me to untrap myself and I'm gonna go look at this painting. I can actually escape, I can just pull the lever again and I can leave. <laughs> I'm, I, I think I should stay in that room. Uh, so the painting of the dog with the bat wings, it's actually more like dragon wings, the dog, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a Pomeranian mix breed, I'm thinking. It's it's not a, like a full on Pomeranian. It's probably just got like ninety percent Pomeranian in it. It's got like little socks on its feet, maybe like a Labrador, and it has like a big uh, horn on its head. <sighs> All right, thanks for the info, champ. Uh, I don't see anything that corresponds to that type of a entity you're gonna have to give me some more i don't see much here that i that i can interact with i'm really trying man i'm really really trying <laughs> i know you are i know you are you got this you got this um so uh what, what else should i explain because this this area it's it's really big it's really big uh, I want you. Okay, so on my on my side, I have like two points of references. I have 
uh, symbols and I have books of various colors ranging from blue, orange, green and symbols that appear to be like the Foxfire uh, sigil that we saw earlier as well as a the various collection of poems on the back of these books that describe directions to move in a certain location but I don't know which book is the correct uh, set of instructions so that's what we need like books, colors, or symbols okay um I found a blue lever and I pulled it did it do anything Um, I think, uh, I think it. You're doing, you're doing fine, Jam. You're doing fine. You got this battle. Hey, it just played victory music. Did you hear that? I heard something, yeah. Okay, I definitely heard I that. I played again. Yeah. Wait a minute, uh, which lever did you just pull? A blue one. I'm gonna open the blue- okay, so... In my- like, within my control, I have three valves here that are red, blue, and yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and open the blue valve, just see what that happens. Okay, blue valve is open. You getting any reading this uh, like change there? Um, so something's opened. I think more gates are opening. I believe you. I believe you. Thank you for the that super room chat. I was trapped. It is now you. open, but it just it's like just more area of the same area is just like <laughs> it's like it's like it's like unlocked. Like I can I can. There's a white there's a white gate. There's a there's a white gate. <laughs> It's just, just more of the area. All right, all right, more of the area confirmed. Okay, confirmed. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open the red valve. Did that do anything? Red valve is now open. Battle, you there? Over. Yeah, sorry, I... it didn't do anything. Alright, I wanna go ahead and close that, and then... Can you describe more of this room that you're talking about? <clears throat> I really have no idea what, um, what it's looking... What it's, it's just really big, and there's a lot of weird paintings of dogs all over <laughs> the place. And let me go back to... there was writing on the wall, uh, earlier. Let me go check that again. Okay. Over. And I'll get you the info you need. So you, so the thing is, like, you keep saying paintings of dogs, but I don't see any references to dogs in the room that I'm in. Okay, so then that's just like it's just. Uh, I guess it's just goofy. Uh, hang on a minute. All right, pedal. Uh, can you like wiggle around for me? I'm wiggling. All right, cool. I don't see you on the map, so we're gonna have to do this blind. All right. Where are you right now? I'm guessing this is the green like lever that he trapped himself in this room here. Okay, pedal. I want you. To, I want you. To stop moving please um and just just take a look around and describe to me the area that you are in i'm pretty sure that this is where the lever is and this um, is the gate that you just opened i'm in a room and there's like a, a pomeranian with <laughs> dragon wings and a horn okay okay Bet battle battle um let us put a pin on the on these on these dogs okay so for for now let us focus on simple things like colors 
we're going to focus on three colors, okay? Green, red, and blue. We're going to ignore the dogs for the time being. All right? Okay. <laughs> you just got to work with me here, okay? I want you to describe the room, but please do so excluding the presence of these dogs. <laughs> okay, so, um... So down the hall from the painting of the irrelevant dog, there's a green gate that is now open, but to my right is a red gate. So down the hall is the green gate, and then to your right is the red gate. Yeah. Okay. Oh shoot, hang on, the lights disappeared. Uh, give me just a moment. Okay, I think this is timed. All right, I think I know where you are. Is the gate behind you open? It should be a red gate that is open. Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah, it's kind of like, okay, there's a red gate that's open and then I go down the stairs and then I make a left and go down more stairs and then walk down a long path and then to my right, there's a red gate and in front of me is a green gate. Okay, okay. I want you to walk backwards until you hit the corner. And then take a left. Walk straight until you hit the wall. And tell me when you have hit the wall. I I've hit the wall. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. All right, you're going to take a right turn. And then you're going to look left. You're not going to move. You're just going to take a right turn, hit the corner, and then look left. Tell me if you see a locked green door in front of you. I ignore the dog. I ignore the dog. I need you. I, I'm assuming there are multiple paintings of dogs. I need you to ignore the dogs. Uh, that that that's uh, uh, that's that's a negative. I don't see any green door closed. Okay, cool. Can you walk straight forward and enter the room? I believe in you, man. Got this. Okay, I hang on. I'm I'm being instructed that I'm doing something wrong. I I I, I didn't follow your instructions correctly. Okay, we need to. Okay, so here's um. Let me explain to you what I am seeing. On my side, I have a map that demonst that uh depicts the location of the gates as well as um what I am assuming are locations of the levers. All right. I don't see you on the map, so I don't know where you are in relative position to these locations. I need you to find a particular, just any location that we can use to establish like a common frame of reference. So I need you to find a room so that I can reorient myself to where you are and then we can go from there. Wait, you can see the levers though, right? I can, I can see the location of what I believe are levers. They are attached to the walls. Okay, wait, maybe I can go to a lever and we can go from there. All right, go for that. It's okay, Chad, we'll, we'll, we'll get him. We, we can, we can, we can. <laughs> okay, okay, Shinri, I'm at a green lever. All right, cool. What I want you to do is pull out your compass. Uh. It was a really big compass. It was on the ground. Oh, it was... Okay, um... Would you happen to remember the location of this compass? Please say yes. Uh... Please say yes. I could find it. I'm gonna need you to, to be brave and go find the compass again. Copy that. Over. Good luck over all right so chat this is what i want um battle to do we have a compass here on the map we know that this way is north we need to get him out the northern exit <laughs> i found it over okay cool 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 i need you to orient yourself to the north of the compass so i need you to face that direction over all right i'm facing a wall with blood on it uh uh, ignore the blood. It'll, it'll come off. It's fine. 
Thank you for the super chat. All right, so I need you to spatially orient yourself so that you remember when you turn 90 degrees that you can always face north. That when you're turning around in circles that you can at least reorient yourself in the north direction. Can you do that? I can try. That's all I need, okay? So, I want you to head back into the maze. Once you are past the very first set of gates, stop. Do not move. I just need you to pass the first set of gates and re-enter the maze. Uh, the gates to my east or west, because there's, there's gates on all sides. <laughs> Can you tell me the colors of the gates? Um, so, to my east... There's no colors. To my south is a white gate. And to my west, no colored gate. They're all open as well. To your west is a white gate, correct? South. To south. Your south. Okay, okay. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so um, we what we're going to do is I want you to filter out all the gates that do not have a color. All right. So we're going to be looking for three different gates and they will be red, blue and green. Any other gates that are not those colors, we can ignore. Does that sound good? That sounds good. All right, cool. What you're going to do is you're going to walk east and then enter the room to your south. Let me know if that um, if that set of instructions makes sense to you. You should be entering a room with a blue lever in it. If you have entered a room with the blue lever, then I'll know you have done it correctly. Yeah, yeah, I, I did, I did. Nice, I want you to hit the lever. Uh, it's already pulled down, should I pull it up? Uh, yeah, go for it. We, we just want to change the state that the lever is in. Copy that. Now, what we're doing is trying to look here to see if these change on our end to tell if, you know, there's any actual changes. Let us know when you're uh, when you have pulled or like altered the state of the lever. Yeah, yeah I did. I did. OK, cool. I want you to then head north. And then you're going to take a small corridor that will wind east, north, west, and then back north again. You should be seeing a gate, a blue colored gate. Please tell me whether that gate is open or closed. It's open. It's open. I want you to proceed through that gate. And then you should enter a slightly larger area where over to your south. Um, from your relative position, it would be your right side. Your south position will, should be a green gate. Do you see the green gate? I see it over. It's closed. It's closed. Okay, cool. What we're going to do is we're going to open that gate. So what we need to do is we need to find the green lever, and this is going to be a little bit complicated, so I need you to follow along. You're going to enter the left corridor that is not connected to a stair. This will be in your northern orientation and you're going to go down the hallway and enter the first turn on your left. Do not walk straight past. Um, you're going to enter the first uh, turn on your left. You should encounter a red gate. Once you're at the red gate, check in with me again. Uh, I found the red gate. Over. Perfect. Is it open or closed? Open over. Nice. I want you to go through and you're going to head all the way westward. You should encounter an open green gate, but I need you to just head down that corridor all the way down as far as you can. You'll be moving in the westward direction. I think we got it. I think we Copy got that. it. Copy that. I'm there. Nice. Do you see in your area a green lever? Yeah, I see it. All right. Go ahead and flip the switch for the green lever. It's been flipped. All right. Now, looking behind you in the path that you just came through, is that gate still open? 
the green gate. No. Okay, cool. We're gonna have to find you another way around to take you back over to where the red lever is. All right, from there, from the room that you're in, there should only be one exit in your southward direction, all right? So you're gonna go through the room. Uh, you can, you should be able to cut across it diagonally. And then in your southward direction, there should be a blue gate past some stairs. Let me know if you see that. Shinra, we have problems. When we uh, when we changed the orientation of the lever, I had already pulled it like 20 minutes ago. So I involuntary, I, I inadvertently uh, shut the blue gate that is in this room. So now I need to go back and, and open up the blue gate that's shut in here because that blue gate is closed so i'm going to i'm gonna i'm gonna find this okay I, I i have faith in you we just walked through the 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 pathway so i believe that you'll be able to go that way um if you are in trouble let me know what landmark you are close by either a colored lever or a colored gate and i'll reorient you from there it's all good chad we got it that's okay <laughs> so what he needs to do is backtrack all the way through here, hit that blue lever, and then he'll have to come this way and then swing around like that, right? And since this one will be closed and this one will be open, he'll have to hit the blue lever, swing all the way down this corridor, hit the green switch again, which will reset this gate, opening it up, and then okay, he'll blue be able gate's to... Flipped. I'm, going, I'm going back to the green room. Green, green, the, the green lever. Okay, go for it, go for it. All right, it looks like he's just gonna go straight this way. He may not be able to cross this path because he just swapped out the uh, the the switch here. So this gate may be locked. So we're gonna le uh, wait and see if uh, Battle encounters this problem. Okay, he should be approaching it. So at this point, he's either here or around here. Okay. Okay. Oh. I, I don't know what that means, but uh, let's go. Let's go. Uh, the, the, the blue gate is now open at the stairs where you left me. Okay. So the blue gate is open at the stairs. I want you to go through that uh, gate and into the room with the green lever again. And then once you change the position of the lever, the gate that is past the stairwell in that direction, um, in the northeastern side, uh, relative to your position, should be open. So he okay, he, he mentioned he was at the blue so gate down, by the stairs. Okay, so I went up the stairs from the blue gate that was shut. Yeah. I made a right, and now there's a long hallway, and I go down some stairs, right? Okay, so. In the hallway should be the red gate. If I know, if I'm guessing where you are accurately, there should be the red gate that is now open. This one should be open. This one should be. Okay, two seconds. Okay. This one should be closed right now. This one should okay. be open. Okay. So tell right? me again. So from the blue gate, blue gate now open. From now, where do I go? Okay. Um, I want you to approach the the green lever. Okay. All right. Now, the gate that is connected to the lever, is it open or closed? It is now... I shut it. Okay, good. Now we're going to have to backtrack. And we're going to have to go find the red lever to finally open the red gate. I need you to backtrack to the white gate. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the idea here is I, I figure that he knows where the white gate is, so Beto will be able to come over here. Check in with me when you hit the white gate. I'm there, over. All right, so just to reorient ourselves one more time, I want you to put your back to the white gate. All right, and face the wall. I'm there. All right, now this is north. You are facing north, all right? With the white gate behind you, you are facing north. So it's a good way to just reorient, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to go east, down the corridor, hit the corner, north, west, and north again. You will snake through a corridor and enter, uh, overlook a set of stairs, uh, looking into a larger room. When you hit those set of stairs, let me know. It should be past the open blue gate. 
Uh, that that blue gate is shut over. Okay, um, backtrack a little bit. Uh, I need you to get back into the previous room to your south and then hit the blue switch. All right, now by this point, you should know where the, the blue gate that you just saw that was closed is, and it should be open. Let me know, uh, check in with me when you're at the top of the stairs or the bottom of the stairs. I don't know which way the orientation is right now. It's open. I'm there. I'm there. Over. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So I need you to get into that air, uh, into the room, and then look for a room opening to the south side. To your south, it should be relatively on your uh, relative to your position. It should be on the right hand side, um, cardinal direction to the south. There should be think... a green gate that is open now. I found the red lever. Do it. Hit it. Hit it. Okay, now we're going to have to go backtrack one more time, all right? So I need you to get head back to the room that you found the blue lever in and flip that switch and then reconvene at the white gate. Check in with me when you're at the white gate. I'm hurrying. I don't like have to keep like going back and forth on this. I'm guessing he's like just running like this and then probably say something. I'm at the white gate. Nice. Okay. I need you to head over to uh, in the directions west, north, down the hallway. At the end of the hallway, turn east and then head north again. You'll enter the same room with the green lever that you were in originally. Copy that. All right. Check in with me when you're at the green lever. Let's go. See what do you guys? Do? Absolutely no, no hesitation. Okay, I'm there. Nice. I need you to hit the uh, lever, open the green gate in front of you, and then proceed eastwards. In the middle of that hallway should be a red gate that is now open to your north, to your left hand side. You did it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go. And now we, I gotta end. Yeah. We. Oh shoot. That's right. Uh, it's Haka Stream. Haka Stream is coming up. Okay, we'll, we'll just, I'm just gonna leave the game here in the background and then we'll, we can pick this up then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go do your outro thing. All right, everyone, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. There's more puzzles apparently, so we're gonna go and see how far we can get with this. But uh, please go and join Haka. I'm gonna go ahead and end stream here and then go and redirect over to Haka as well so everyone can go join. Uh, where is the... And thank you so much for just you know all the words of encouragement. I really appreciate it. It helps uh, helps us a lot. Uh, just kind of having like you know all the all the support. So wait, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. here. Okay, I have to go. I have to go send you guys to to Haka. <laughs> all right, everyone. Koyasumi. I'll see you all in about an hour after Haka stream, and then we'll pick this up again. See how many more uh, problems we have. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. All right, chat. Bye bye.